Hello and welcome. In this lab, we will be performing a one-dimensional consolidation test on fine-grained undisturbed soil. This test covers standards ASTM D2435 and ASHTO T216. We will need the following items to perform this test. Our consolidation testing device with fixturing, sample trimmer and trimming tools, undisturbed soil sample, moisture cup, balance, oven, calipers, and distilled water. First, we will need to get our soil sample. This can happen a couple of ways. Typically, we will run this test using an undisturbed fine grain sample, i.e. silts and clays, taken from the job site. Usually, this is done by using a Shelby tube on the end of drill rods on a drill rig. The Shelby tube is pushed through the undisturbed fine grain material, pulled out and sealed so we don't lose any moisture content. We will then extrude this sample to get our undisturbed soil. We could also get a chunk of undisturbed soil if the material is shallow enough to reach with a backhoe. So let's get a weight and dimension of the ring. We will be using a 2 inch diameter ring in our test setup and so we will need to trim our sample to fit into the ring. We will do this carefully to make sure we do not disturb our sample. We will use a soil knife with a notch cut in it to the thickness of the ring to carve our sample. Then we can carve the sample into the ring until a small portion is sticking out the bottom. This will allow us to trim both sides to get a smooth surface on each. Once the sample is in our ring, we will get a weight of the ring with the soil. Then take the cuttings from the sample, place them into a cup to get an initial moisture content of our sample. Now we are ready to set up our test. We will place the ring into the consolidation machine on top of a porous stone. Place the hold down ring on top and secure it with the three nuts on the threaded rod. Then we will place on the top our porous stone, cap, and ball bearing, which will be our loading point. Once this is done, we will position our lever arm on top to allow us to load the sample. This lever arm has a 10 to 1 ratio. Then position the digital gauge on top so that we can get a consolidation measurement. Leave enough room for the gauge to accommodate a small amount of swelling. Then add distilled water to the water reservoir. We are now ready to start our test. Apply a seeding load of 2.2 pounds to your sample. After 20 to 30 minutes, we will take a reading on our digital gauge. This will be your initial value. For two of our loadings at the 4 and 64 kilogram weights, we will get time readings. For all loads, including our time loads, we will place the loads on the sample for the duration called out on the chart that is in this video and in your manuals. When applying the loads, we want to make sure that we place the loads on the sample slowly and softly so we do not induce any dynamic or excess consolidation on the sample. At the end of each load cycle, we will record the displacement slash consolidation of the sample and then apply the next load. Before applying the next load, make sure that the water area surrounding the sample is full. After we have completed our consolidation loads, we will unload the sample in increments to get a rebound or reconsolidation curve. Once we have finished unloading the sample, we will remove the ring and the soil from the consolidation machine. Dry the ring and the soil of any excess water and weigh the ring and wet soil. We will then place both the ring and the soil in the oven to get a dried weight of the sample. We will do this to determine the final moisture content. 
That concludes this lab. For additional information, please refer to the student lab manual and get help from your TAs and instructor.